Hey everybody, it's Andrew. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about conversation AI and the new query detection flow that High Level has implemented to help improve conversation AI's trainings. Now the training for conversation AI hasn't exactly been perfect. So we've made some improvements to help it better recognize good and bad responses and allow us to provide feedback to conversation AI. Let's dive right in. Now we all know that we can train our conversation AI right within high level through a couple of different means. For one, we obviously have the training section that we'll find in settings and then in conversation AI right underneath bot training. We can also train it within the trial by giving thumbs up to certain messages. Now under training, we can include links and we can customize bot responses to all these different questions that sometimes our bot is going to be asked. This is generally the main way that we would train our bots unless we were training them within conversations themselves. For example, in a conversation like this between a customer and conversation AI, we've always been able to give thumbs up and thumbs downs to conversation AI messages in order to let it know which messages are good and bad. For example, we can say this message is good and click the thumbs up and it'll always say that our feedback is received. And then we can also give thumbs down to these messages and then provide a better response to this message, which is going to go into that training section within settings. Other than that, there was a little bit of automatic training on the bot side of things, but not much. But now with our new query detection flow, now the conversation AI can detect more context and more understanding from each conversation and actually look back to up to five different messages of each conversation to see if the contact needs support, help, or wants to book an appointment. Also on the back end, there's a more dynamic query extraction where the bot goes through different messages, extracts exact questions from the conversation with context, and then provides it an analysis score. And then on top of all of this that's happening on the back end, it'll use that same training section that we have within settings in order to contextually train itself in order to craft better responses in the future. In simpler terms, High Level has improved the ability for the conversation AI bot to train itself based on context in conversations. While this is a new feature, it's not something you'll have to enable or something that you'll even really see in the foreground. It's all happening in the background with the conversation AI and it's training, but all in all, it's gonna make the conversation AI experience even better. If you have any questions about how conversation AI training works, then feel free to leave a comment. And always, thank you for watching this update.